I found out that rats are getting in my corn, and I have to get down the hill and check on it. Rachel doesn't really want me to go anywhere because if I happen to hurt my finger again, I could be in big trouble. But I have to get down there and check on the corn because otherwise we're not going to have any corn. So instead of carrying the camera with me, I've come up with an innovation. Meet the cast cam. Oh yeah, let's go down the hill. We have a little bit of a sun shower right now, so I'm just kind of waiting it out. I don't want to take the camera out in the rain, but there's some of my potted trees. Don't they look nice? Yeah, just a minute here, we'll go down. Check it out. Those are the cantaloupe that we planted. We smashed cantaloupe around in here. Looking good, huh? And the tomatoes are not dead yet. In fact, they're starting to green up. These transplants were overdue for getting in here. These are the ones that have been mulchalized. All right, and check over here. The trellis that I did right before my accident, beans are already coming up. Look at that. These are our purple beans from the seed we saved. And a couple of my faithful sons put together the bean trellis that I was in the middle of doing and it is now planted at the bottom with yard long beans as of yesterday and they haven't come up yet. Everything's looking pretty good. Better than it was. Down in here I'm looking for the hot peppers to start coming up. But the last time I planted peppers in here they actually got all chewed down by some sort of a bug in the soil. I've seen a couple of them come up but now I'm not seeing them so I'm hoping that there's enough in here that some of them escape. Over here we have the celosia or quail grass that is coming up and these are a real nice green. They're gonna be very good. All right, enough talking. I get stuck in the garden. Oh wait, one more thing to talk about. Noni tree. From the noni tree video, there's the cuttings. Cuttings are taking and the seedling is looking a lot better. One more thing. One more thing. Look at that vine grew out of the compost. It's about to start making pumpkins. Oh heck yeah. All right. Now I'm actually going down the hill. I just kind of get lost in the garden sometimes. Boy, the grass is already over my head again here. Outrageous. This is... How you doing, Cromwell? You gonna get it? Huh? You gonna get it? So, here's what we're seeing. Rats get in here and they strip all the kernels out at night. So, I'm losing all of my corn to the rats. And I had a decision. I was told by a native, you gotta poison the rats. If you don't poison the rats, they're gonna get your corn. Well, the idea of putting poison out here, even if I put it in a place where only the rats could get it, and then having the rats eat the poison, and then maybe somebody's dog, like Cromwell here, or a neighbor might eat the rats or another animal or something. The idea of just putting the poison out is, I don't know. I just can't bring myself to do it. I actually bought the poison and I went, brought it home, I looked at it, I was like, nah, I can't do it. I can't do it. So I have to come up with another solution. But for now, I'm gonna pick all the corn that's even close to ripe, and we'll just take it up and we'll see what we get. Here's one of the ears here. It's not bad looking, huh? I mean, it's a small ear, but uh, they actually filled out really well, which means we got good pollination across this field. I'm gonna pick them all, all the ones that look like they're at least mature enough. And I'll show you them when we get to the other side. This is what I don't like to see. It's all chewed out on the side. So these ones that are all chewed up like this, you know, they still got a lot of good kernels towards the back. Those good kernels will be used for seed. And I really want to eat kernels out of the ears of corn that have rat holes in them. But 
so long as there's still some seed, we can plant them and they're gonna be fine. All right, we got some here. This is just a little bit. We're gonna have to take them all and dry them out on the porch. It's better to pick them a little earlier than to let the rats get them. We've got probably, I mean, not very good, maybe seven, 10 gallons of corn, something like that. We shall see. Hey everybody, check this out. These are my pumpkins. Look at how nice they look from the experimental pumpkin hill. These are the ones that were watered with compost tea containing salt water. Real heavy, strong stuff. As one of my commenters keeps reminding me, it's evil, bad, anaerobic, awful compost tea. Yes, 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 I know. But the plants like it and I don't care. <laughs> Anyhow, you can keep calling it bad if you want to. I don't mind. But I'm pretty happy with the results. There's a lot of nutrition in it. Check that out. Not bad. I think they're going to just take over this hillside here. As you can see, even though one third of the frame is obscured. This is the cast cam, folks. This is cutting edge. Here's what we have. Not particularly impressive considering how much corn that we planted, but it is pretty good considering I haven't really been able to take care of it all that much and the rats stole a lot. But there we go. And that's my last shot with a cast cam. I'm going to take it off. We got the corn, so mission accomplished. Thanks for watching and thank you everybody for the very nice comments that you left wishing me healing and saying you're praying for me and all that stuff. You know, thank you for sharing your own scary injury stories. The cut fingers, cut tendons, cut feet, cut grandmothers and friends and all of that terrifying medical stuff. I enjoyed reading every comment and thank you all so much. I, I really do appreciate it even though I kid around a little bit. Have a wonderful week. And until next time, keep growing. It's getting a little dark, so I got some new lighting. I heard that lighting was very important for YouTube.